Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And uh, if you've been watching, you noticed that, uh, that I bought one of these. Um, it's a greaseless grill grate, but I used it on uh, a different uh, air fryer here on my DeLonghi. Uh, let's see if I couldn't get this hot enough on there in order to get sear marks. And uh, it, I, I couldn't. It, it would get up to about 375 and just was shy of getting it. So now I've got the power air fryer out and I'm going to try on the air, power air fryer. Uh, it does fit this way, but if everybody watched my channel know that I did some modifications to the basket for a second shelf and uh, look at look at that. Fits, fits right in there. So uh, I'm going to put this on the power air fryer, preheat it. I am going to shoot some temps after about five minutes and see how hot it gets. And then we'll try two burgers, uh, 85, 15, like we did uh, with the DeLonghi and see if we can't uh, get some sear marks on our burgers. Right, Keep folks, watching. There it is about there. We're set at 400. That was a little over five minutes. And let's see, uh, see for yourself what the temps are here. So three... 350, 355. Um, actually, this thing is running cooler than the DeLonghi is. So, well, you know, we're going to still try it. Let me uh, keep on heating it for another minute or two, and then we're going to put those hamburger, hamburgers on and uh, see what they can do on the power air fryer. Keep on watching. All right, folks, I uh, sprayed our uh, greaseless grill grate with uh, some olive oil, giving it a minute or two. I got like I said, two nice patties here, 85-15 uh, ground beef, a uh, little olive oil, a little seasoning on there, and let's, and let's get these on, shall we? My sizzle there. And let's get this back on the power air fryer. And she set at 400, and let's see what happens. Keep well, on folks, watching. I took the burgers out. It was smoking something terrible. Uh, I was going to set the fire alarms out. I got some water in the bottom of the pan, but I don't know if it's the grease. Is I don't know if it's up because I got it up on the high high setting here. So I'm going to take my burgers off. I'm going to take the greaseless grill grate, put it down lower, and put the burgers back in and see if that rectifies the problem here. So keep right, on folks. watching. I cleaned that uh, greaseless grill grate off. Put it down on the lower level. I got it back on at uh, 400 degrees. It's been going for maybe two minutes, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's smoking again. So I'm gonna have to stop this cook. This did not smoke on the DeLonghi, but it's smok smoking on the Power Air Fryer XL, and I, I honestly don't know why. I've got water in the bottom. It's just two hamburgers. Why would it smoke? Makes no sense to me. So um, we're gonna pull these off before I set off the smoke alarm. Uh, I'll give you a look at them here if you want to see them. Just got to be careful here because this thing is broke. You know, so you can see them in there. They're they're cooking away. They're cooking nicely, but everything is uh, is smoking. And uh, like I said, didn't do that on the power. It didn't do that on the, on the DeLonghi multi fryer. But it's doing it on the power air fryer, which, to be honest with you, I've never had this issue before. So I'm going I'm to shut things down here, and uh, we'll call this a fail. And uh, I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, I'm not the type of person that makes a video. And then if it doesn't work out, don't put it on. I want you to see how things work, work out for me. You know, leave a comment. I'm sure plenty will. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Tom Horseman at YouTube. And as always, folks, as she dings for the last time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>